Broken branches and tree limbs from last week's storm are causing some cleanup confusion in Williamson County. KXN's Mercedes Hernandez clears it up for us. Among the muck and rain, John Green is one of many who've made a trip to the Williamson County landfill this week. I lived here 20 years and we've never seen uh, limb damage like this. He's no novice to how the landfill works. But with damage across the county, he's sure there are first timers wondering what to do. A lot of people that live in residential areas, they really don't have a vehicle that they could use to to uh, bring out their limbs. Precinct 4 County Commissioner Russ Bowles says if people don't want to pay the landfill fees, they have options. So if you're in a spot that you can burn, that you can legally burn, uh, there, you know, there is no burn ban in the county right now. You're able to, to, to burn your limbs. If that's where you decide to stack your brush and it's not on somebody else's property or in the county right of way, you, you can stack it there. Bowles says there's a lot of confusion about the landfill fees. For the next two weeks, people can drop off a pickup truckload of brush for $10 flat. If they have more than that, you can drop off 2,000 pounds of debris or trash at the county landfill for $47. If you want to bring a trailer, the county charges just under $9 for a cubic yard. It's their property. It can, it, it can be their personal responsibility. People like Green say they're handling that responsibility however they can. In Hutto, Mercedes Hernandez, KXAN News. And Williamson County says if people have financial or physical limitations that make cleaning up brush difficult, they should apply for help with the Austin Disaster Relief Network.